Hey guys, it's Kelly here again and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my fourth drawing of a mermaid for this month. So I am doing the mermaid challenge for 2020, but I am doing it only weekly. So each week I pick a prompt from the official prompt list and I create a mermaid out of that. I have already uploaded three other here on my channel if you'd like to check them out. I am also doing them as a line art that is available for download on my Etsy shop. So if you want to color along with me, you can do that as well. For this week, I got inspired by the prompt Siren Song. and. Technically, it's not a song. I mean, I was going for the aesthetic of a siren. I wanted this creepy looking mermaid that was a little bit um, kind of drawing you in with either magic or just seductiveness or something like that. So that was my idea for this mermaid. And I you can see right now i basically dried out one of my markers just to fill in the entire background this is an a4 page and i wasn't planning initially on having the full background be um this dark blue but i really liked how it looked kind of like a vortex or a spiral so it gave the feeling that she's sucking you in and it also kind of reminded me of a cave so i was thinking maybe she lives under water like deep deep down in some cave or something so i thought that was an interesting idea and the streaks in this case naturally would bother me but in this case it kind of worked because of what i mentioned before so i really liked as well how the colors that i chose for the mermaid popped on this dark background. I was considering if I should print the background, um, make it in Photoshop and print it directly, but what fun is that? Why not just waste my marker away to fill in an entire A4 page? I mean, what am I saving them for something? So yeah, I cannot stress this enough, but I always create um, color thumbnails. So I printed this uh, four times on a different piece of paper and figured out the colors. And I wasn't going to do this for this one because I had a very, very clear idea of what I wanted the colors to be. The background was supposed to remain white. She was supposed to have this uh, bright red hair and a green tail and green eyes and when i tried that out on the thumbnail it kind of looked juvenile and it looked like an evil little mermaid not gonna lie it was evil ariel coming to get you um she is kind of looking like evil ariel with the blue eyes that i ended up going in the red hair but i definitely feel like i pulled away a little bit with the tail and just made the whole piece appear a little bit more creepy and colder because I use um, a lot more cold colors and I didn't use like the green just because it, it was just too much area in my opinion. So I am really glad that I did the color thumbnails because I was not going to be happy with the final result if I didn't. And I almost didn't because as I said, I had a very clear idea of what I wanted the colors to look like. And I am so glad that I did the thumbnails and figured out that that is not gonna work and I'm not gonna happy, be happy with it. So yeah, this right now I am doing her hair and I struggled a lot with the hair because I was doing the line art digitally and I had no idea what hair underwater kind of looks like and I had a lot of trouble. The right side, I really liked. The right side came together on its own, but on the left side, it was just weird and very fluffy and had a lot of volume and it wasn't working so I had to do it and redo it like 500 times but I ended up with this result. I don't mind it and I actually really like the top two strands of hair on each side that kind of resemble horns make her look even more creepier and more evil looking so i really really um, like that idea and for the hand i am really bad at drawing hands this is probably the best hand that i've ever drawn and that is only because i took a picture of holding my hand this way and used that picture as a reference and the 
proportions are probably a little bit off her hand is still pretty big and um, her body ended up being a lot more stiff than I initially uh, had the idea for but I guess I just focused so much of my energy on that hand and the face that the body kind of lacks but it's also kind of hidden behind her so I hope you guys don't mind too much I still think it looks really cool and I would love to see if you guys color it and what you guys think and what colors you use and if you add any details that would be really cool I gave her red lips and red nails fingernails to kind of keep in the theme of her being a seductress and that's kind of the cliche idea that I have for seductive women that they have red hair and red lips and red nails and she also looks very dangerous and I just I don't know I liked it and here I'm doing the thing that I've been trying to do on all of them and that is shade the skin with the purple as I've mentioned this before, everyone here on YouTube and on Instagram, everyone who draws with Copic markers and not even Copic markers like digitally, everyone shades with purple and lilac and very light purples and I don't understand how they do that. As you can see, it ends up looking very dead and muddy on on my drawings i don't know maybe because i'm not used to it but here i have the same problem i cannot speak today here i have the same problem but it kind of worked in my favor just because the entire piece is very cold looking so it didn't really bother me that much that she pulled a little dead in terms of skin tone i think it actually helped her become even more creepy and um, like I said, pull uh, in that creep factor. <laughs> the eyes I wanted to keep very glassy and again creepy. And I, as I was doing them, I kept thinking of a friend that I have who is terrified of people with blue eyes, which is ironic because I have blue eyes. But he really, he really doesn't like people with the very light blue eyes. He doesn't like the normal blue eyes, but the very glassy looking blue eyes that are very rare. He gets totally creeped out by the, by them. And that's kind of what I was thinking about when I was drawing her eyes. And I thought that was something funny. And um, I ended up adding some white details that I didn't record. I actually ended up not recording quite a bit for this just because I was listening to an audiobook and I got kind of distracted while I was drawing. I mean, not distracted, but I got in the zone and just draw, drew, 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 and listened to the audiobook. And I kind of didn't notice um, two separate times where my camera cut off and stopped recording. So I lost a bit of footage, but it turned out to be in my favor because the video is shorter. So I guess it's in your favor as well. So yeah, um, I think I'm almost done with it. I'm gonna finish off the tail. And as I said, do a few more details with the white acrylic uh, pen that I didn't record. And I'm gonna show you a finished picture in a second. As I said, this is available for is a coloring page on my Etsy. We'll link in the description bar down below. I would love to hear your opinions about this drawing and the rest of my mermaids. And also, if you colored them, make sure to let me know so I can see your colored results. So thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe if you like what you see and would like to see more. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!